Thank you for joining us today at Matuka TV Studio, your source for powerful and inspiring Christian sermons. Here we bring to you the message of hope, faith, and transformation featuring the teaching from renowned ministers, including Apostle Oromi Osai. Join us on this spiritual journey as we delve into the Word of God and discover His purpose for our life. Stay tuned, be blessed, and don't forget to subscribe. So what you do when you notice a lustful spirit trying to take dominion of your vessel is that you start talking. Observation for years now. I've tried so hard, spoken to people, but I still engage in it and it's really affecting me. And this is so important because I've had to pray for a sister at some point. It was also her challenge. She said, even if I am praying in tongues, I will still do it. Yes, yes, yes. I own was so bad. They are in two different planes. You are, you are praying in tongues it's in another plane. And the plane that the spirit is operating is different from the plane you are engaging. So they can happen simultaneously. Um, first of all, we need to know a few things. Lost needs to work with your mind. Speaking. Your speaking has more authority than your thinking. Uh, if, if I ask Theophilus, Theophilus, do follow my instruction, okay? Count from one to ten in your mind. Just do anything I tell you to do. Have you started? What's your name? Where did you stop counting? Okay, you, you, you stopped counting at eight. The moment you started talking, you stopped thinking. Do you notice that? It means that your, your words have more authority than your, your thoughts. And loss needs your thoughts in order to have a 3D experience. So what you do when you notice a lossful spirit trying to take dominion of your vessel is that you start talking. Start talking. Keep talking. Keep talking. Keep talking. The spirit will not be able to find a place. So that's just, that's, that's, that's level one. Masturbation and unclean spirits, they are level one. There are higher spirits in the kingdom of darkness than those levels. This one, if you keep talking, don't be discouraged, just be talking. Be speaking the word of God, just be speaking it. You will weary the spirit. He can't get your mind, he doesn't have a platform. Praise God. Now, so let me let me call this first aid, right? Yeah, this yeah. first aid. So once <coughs> once the spirit can't get your mind, then you use your will against what the spirit wants. At first it will be to be difficult, but eventually it will become easy. And then the spirit will know it doesn't have any premise around your life. So there are two things. You speak and you turn your will away. That's all with that. Now, so, so let me also add. Now, beyond these things you can do, what is the place of deliverance in that scenario? Uh, they are, this is self-deliverance. You, There's a place for that. And just in case this person that wrote this is here who can deliverance is automatic um, faith, the faith process is manual so I'm saying that for this case the faith process is as efficacious as releasing the authority of God so those are two valid approaches actually a valid approaches but not everybody needs to be disturbing the pastor sometimes I don't know about it but I'm weary sometimes weary of these are things that you can do yourself. And I will teach them. Do this. And tomorrow you still, the line is still for the same issue. <laughs> it's not that serious. I, we will soon talk about the one that is really serious that you need, Pastor. So, is it, so after teaching, and yet people can't flow in it. So what do you think is responsible? And we do the pastoral one, but we, we, if we have our way, we will prefer that people practice it. They don't practice it. 
Don't practice. If you start praying, for instance, you don't need any education. And if you start praying, for instance, you will know the experience of mounting up with wings. When you are no longer, when your heart is no longer conscious of your house rent, your salary, and what the realm of consciousness that you have been brought in, a consciousness, this consciousness of the heavenly things, that's the experience of mounting up with wings like eagles, going to high places in the spirit, where you are invited to come in your thoughts, to think the thoughts of God, and to reason together with God. These are experiential things that nobody will, you will not know it except you practice prayer. So you will not, these two easy things I just said now, if there's anyone in the congregation that is suffering from the symptoms of masturbation, I'm telling you, there's a two-way approach. You don't need pastor. However, if you can work it yourself, no problem. And if you are here with that challenge, maybe before the end of the lecture, we will be able to deal with that. As you are praying, hmm, the spirit is still working. Keep praying now. See how long the spirit will stay. Record it, record it. Maybe the spirit was there for 25 minutes. Tomorrow, pray again. You will see the spirit will be there for 20 minutes. Pray again. You see, it will keep reducing. Inconsistency lies the power. That's the protocol for all spiritual things. Going to high places in the spirit. Where you are invited to come in your thoughts, to think the thoughts of God, and to reason together with God. These are experiential things that nobody will, you will not know it except you practice prayer. So you will not, these two easy things I just said now, if there's anyone in the congregation that is suffering from the symptoms of masturbation, I'm telling you, there's a two-way approach. You don't need pastor. However, if you can work it yourself, no problem. And if you are here with that challenge, maybe before the end of the lecture, we will be able to deal with that. As you are praying, hmm, the spirit is still working. Keep praying now. See how long the spirit will stay. Record it, record it. Maybe the spirit was there for 25 minutes. Tomorrow, pray again. You will see the spirit will be there for 20 minutes. Pray again. You see, it will keep reducing. Inconsistency lies the power. That's the protocol for all spiritual things. Thank you for watching Matuka TV. We hope you were blessed by today's message. If you enjoyed this sermon, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more uplifting content. Leave your comments and let us know how these teachings have impacted your life. Stay connected with us on social media and remember God's love and grace are always with you. Until next time, keep walking in faith and be a light to the world.